Uh, hello everyone, this is Dr. Prasad Pudilam continuing the uh, uh, video class series on uh, 21 RMI 56 Research Methodology and Intellectual Property Rights uh, Module 1 uh, Part 8 Video Part 8 uh, I am uh, giving the question answer type uh, indicating the course outcome as well as the uh, answer scheme and uh, my uh, answers based on the uh, textbook which is given referring this textbook which is already there in the syllabus you can download this textbook uh, which is available uh, you can uh, google it you can type it in google you will get the pdf form okay so i'm covering the uh, uh, module one right now so this is the module one um, syllabus which is given under Vishashara technology university for the fifth semester all branches common common to all branches okay so i'm i have reached in uh, ethics in engineering um, uh, types of mis uh, research misconduct that i have reached uh, the topic and uh, the outcomes are given already co1 co2 co3 co4 and co5 students should uh, understand what are the outcomes given a question if it is given or if it is connected uh, you should understand what type of information you are getting or after completion of this course uh, or what you will learn from that okay so straight away going to the eighth topic the types of uh, research uh, misconduct okay so uh, question is framed uh, which is explain the importance of research integrity while also highlighting other forms of research misconduct and their implications so it's connected to course outcome one uh, level of question is four and it carries uh, 10 marks so based on that uh, the answer key is made uh, referring the textbook which is given there Okay, some of the points I made highlighted here, the students uh, need to note it down the important points and they should refer the textbook and uh, uh, further uh, uh, improvise it. Okay, so answer key is given the essence of research integrity, preventing mistakes through peer review, common types of research misconduct are also mentioned here and uh, how the detecting plagiarism has been done and uh, ethical avoidance of uh, plagiarism and other forms of uh, research misconduct is also given here so the first point that is uh, the essence of a research integrity okay so the integrity in research it involves uh, conducting uh, studies honestly treating others very fairly then um, ensuring the safety of research subjects and accurately representing methods and research so it's a vital aspect of a responsible research that is the point that i took under this uh, particular key answer okay so being a honest as well as a fair uh, uh, researcher it is very important in the scientific research not only scientific research all type of research which you are publishing uh, if you are want to uh, as a uh, to the community if you are giving so, so society you are giving that your research outcome then uh, you have to be very honest and fair towards your work it likes a strong backbone which you hold up to all the research so if you are not honest or fair the whole research that the things that we did it doesn't work well and people won't trust that particular researcher or the discovery that uh, they are doing in the uh, in even if future so, so scientists or the engineering uh, uh, students uh, you are a, you are a type of scientist you are the one uh, joined engineering uh, uh, to do uh, support the innovation culture so you are actually innovating something or being a part of a institute or being part of a uh, firm a company where you are doing as a part of a research only you are making improvising uh, and uh, getting new technologies coming so it's a research only so you have a very big job to do you have to be very truthful and fair when they are when you are doing the uh, research second point says uh, preventing mistakes through peer review before research findings are published peer reviews uh, should occur uh, these reviews help uh, the spot errors and ensure the credibility of the research output peer review means uh, the people uh, who are uh, in the same research field uh, working on the same field our uh, peer um, somewhat colleagues only okay, they are not so called uh, the expert and all they are also working in the same field therefore they will uh, go through that they will uh, find some of the uh, their identified any mistakes or any clarification 
while reading that uh, uh, manuscript, uh, the research outcome that we have to collect and we have to accordingly we have to rephrase or rearrange our research outcome. So uh, before scientists uh, they share their uh, discoveries with everyone, uh, this process is called as a peer review. It's like getting a second opinion from others, other uh, similar uh, category people working on the same field. And they will check their work carefully and they find uh, any mistake or uh, things which might not be quite right or, or is not giving the clarity. So this process is always important and it is very one of the important uh, criteria in publishing our uh, research. So it makes uh, the world more tr uh, trustworthy and the quality of the research is also better. Then comes a common type of uh, research misconduct uh, like fabrication, falsification, uh, plagiarism. Okay, so uh, first one that is fabrication. Uh, fabrication uh, it involves uh, making uh, data or experiments because of uh, time constraints or uh, a pressure that you have to submit our work at the earliest or something, some type of pressure that they are having or it un undermines the integrity of research and can lead to false information which is circulated to the scientific literature. Okay, so imagine that uh, uh, the making up of such information uh, or um, such experiments uh, because you are working in a very hurry burry mode uh, or you are stressed, uh, you have to do something in a, at the earliest uh, or you are not getting result and uh, confused that uh, your work will not be identified, we will not get um, recognition for that. So we fabricate, fabricating uh, is possibilities are there. That is called as a fabrication. Okay, fabrication uh, uh, is just a telling, just a creating a story uh, in the science world. Okay, so doing uh, such type of is not okay because uh, it. Uh, mess up the honesty of the research and it can spread wrong information in uh, in the journals uh, science books uh, and even the papers uh, later stage it may if uh, not identified it will be published in uh, textbooks and uh, the next generation uh, students they will uh, refer it and they will continue or they will stuck uh, stuck up somewhere they will not they can they will not get the proper uh, continuity of that work. Uh, the extra one is falsification that is altering data inappropriately. Uh, falsification occurs when data or experiments are misrepresented or altered or uh, misinterpreted to support a particular uh, hypothesis even if the actual results suggest otherwise. So this can harm the progress and trust. Yes, you think about uh, changing or uh, the testing. Uh, uh, altering the information to make it look like it supports a specific idea. E even you know, you know that the result that you obtained is something different. So that is called as falsification. It's like a playing with a, a fact to make them uh, to fit a story. It means you only create a story and uh, you are uh, creating uh, supporting uh, something that you are uh, uh, attaching to that. Okay, so it in, you are not getting something supporting one means your story itself is wrong. You have to change the story, redo it, and uh, make the story proper. So doing uh, this type of uh, falsification uh, is not good because it can slow down the progress of research and make people lose trust in you uh, and your discoveries. Next one uh, that is plagiarism, that is using others' work without uh, giving credit to them. It's, it's like a copy, copying only others work, uh, copying the text or copying the data or copying their ideas without giving a proper uh, credit. Uh, this unethical practice, uh, it extends to self plagiarism where one uh, reuses their own work without uh, mentioning it. We have to acknowledge our work also without mentioning that, uh, reusing it. So if you can picture uh, picture is imagine uh, uh, that you have to do a project and instead of doing your own uh, work uh, you are somebody uh, you are, uh, somebody's work you are copy or you are copying somebody's someone else work as such that is called plagiarism 
okay so uh, taking someone idea or word and pretending as our words or yours it's not good even using our own old work and without telling that it is already published old work just uh, rechanging it and uh, showing as uh, something new again it is a uh, no no condition don't do that okay so it's not fair it's not cool uh, in the world of uh, the research then uh, detecting plagiarism uh, plagiarism can be identified through various means the original uh, authors may discover it or uh, uh, the reviewers might uh, uncover it during their uh, review process or readers uh, who come across the plagiarized content can uh, report it these are the way how it can be detected so there are many automated software which can detect uh, similarities between the text or the judgment which is done even though we get a very low score of uh, plagiarism plagiarism free content but the one who is working in the same field it, they can identify it they can uh, judge it uh, what uh, what how it has been uh, uh, reframed okay so reframing is not uh, again uh, it can be identified one or the other way maximum possible maximum possible not maximum possible <laughs> you have to write it in your own words and if any sentence framing help required then you have to get the help of somebody who is good in that and you have to consider them as one of your co-author for that because they supported you so giving authorship to that person will work like that only it will work so that is about uh, plagiarism ethical avoidance of plagiarism to avoid the high similarity score in uh, the uh, research paper or manuscript researchers they ethically use the existing content they simply paraphrase the content in uh, they, they need to do the paraphrase in their own they have to summarize the relevant uh, materials and they should always cite uh, original source which they are referred okay so uh, even when uh, citing uh, the researcher should avoid doing copying the sentences as such uh, or the paragraph exactly they should aim to differentiate their ideas and writing from existing uh, sources you should refer you should understand how they did them. and uh, that is the idea that we get from them that we can present there but not as such uh, copying their sentence or uh, rephrasing it uh, or the paragraph is taken and rephrasing it that will, will not be uh, is, is uneth unethical other forms of research misconduct like uh, 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 like researcher uh, they reframe from submitting the same article to multiple journals and journals. some people uh, they will publish one paper the same paper uh, might they might have rewrite uh, uh, changing the title and uh, publish it again that should not be happen or uh, that has to be avoided sometimes this type of uh, things happen because we have to wait for review process time constraint and all uh, a researcher may apply the same paper in uh, two three journals at a time uh, and they will forget uh, uh, in a hurry or a purposefully or whatever it may be uh, it will be published in uh, two journals same paper that is also uh, a type of uh, misconduct only additionally uh, the published uh, content uh, they are not acknowledged uh, uh, properly or corrected uh, properly that is also other form of research misconduct so that's about that particular topic uh, is key answers and my explanation points for that uh, referring to that textbook which is given in the syllabus so this is the part 8 of module 1 uh, thank you very much for uh, subscribing thank you very much for um, supporting and uh, uh, thank you very much for giving uh, uh, feedback uh, and uh, giving uh, uh, for uh, any ideas that extra you have you can convey it to, to me okay so my youtube channel is uh, my intuition 4865 please do subscribe this channel uh, and support me so once again uh, thank you very much